What's up everyone? I just wanted to do a quick video on my favorite sites for 1911s and why I like them. So it's not going to be too crazy of a video, but these are the sites that I run on my two EDC 1911s. They're from Kensite. And they're adjustable rears. I'm not super fond of having adjustable rears, but these are actually really sturdy and they don't come in any other options. So. Plus it helps out, my two carry guns are, this one's a 9mm double stack, and then you guys know my SIG, it's in 357 SIG, so it would be really hard for me to find sights that were actually lined up with the proper elevation for these two calibers, seeing as they're not too common in the 1911 world. But they're orange dot front sights and they're blacked out rears but they have the bar dot bar so in the sunlight you can't see those rear bars at all it's pretty much like a blacked out rear sight but when it glows at night I'll show you guys a cut of this after I'm done with this part of the video they line up really nicely with a dot in between the two lines so it's really easy to find at night and they are really accurate they have a pretty skinny front sight post which I like a lot and you can see the adjustment on the top for the elevation and then the one on the side for the windage and it tells you what's left and what's right so I just wanted to show you guys those real quick I got them from Chemsite they're a little pricey being tritium front and tritium rear I want to say they're around 160 or 170 but for having sites that you love it really really is worth it to me and these are tied up there with the excess dot sites I want to say those are my two favorite sites that I've ran so far out of everything I've tried the Ameriglos, Tri Trijicons, Mepro lights and so far these two are my favorite I really wish they made these for um, other guns besides 1911s but you can get them in the Novak cut and I want to say Bomar I'm not sure so just wanted to take the time to show you guys those sites and why I like them. And I will cut out now to what they look like in the dark. So you'll see here what it looks like at night. You can easily tell if you're centered vertically and horizontally. And I really like that. Thanks everybody for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to put them below in the comments section. If you haven't already, please subscribe. You can do that by clicking that little circle that pops up there. And remember, if you're looking for a new pet or animal, please adopt. There's thousands of animals looking for a new home, and that home could be with you. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you.